And this is Valery Kalilov, the head of the choir and Russia's top military orchestra conductor. He only took up the position in April of this year, adding to an already impressive career. Among his achievements was conducting orchestras at the Victory Day parades for over a decade. He also oversaw the Spaskaya Tower Festival, the world-famous event for marching bands held annually in Moscow's Red Square. We talked to David Johnston from the Celtic Mast Pipes and Drums Band. He personally knew Kalilov and took part in the festival with him. We worked very, very closely with General Khalilov and he, I remember my first the meeting with General Khalilov where he said, he asked me to do something with the bagpipe music, it wasn't, it wasn't possible and uh, we were both standing in the Red Square and he was telling me, you will make it possible and I was saying, but I can't and I won't make, can, cannot make it possible and we had this bit of a standoff and that was where he then shook hands with me and ever since then we were the best of friends when he stood up in the uh, on, on, in front of all the mass bands for the finale each evening on, on the Moscow Tattoo in Red Square. Um, he was a, a fantastic, powerful figure. His legacy comes into every part of music, no matter what type of music you're thinking about. It's, it's just a, a terrible loss. In the spring of this year, RT made a film about the Alexandrov Ensemble and spoke to some of its members. One of them was Yevgeny Bulochnikov, who was killed this morning in the crash. In the ensemble, everyone is important. The conductor, the orchestra and the choir, all together. You have to take your part seriously. We breathe history. There's the saying, the person who doesn't know the past doesn't have a future. Yevgeny's friends say they're devastated by his death. They told us they expected him to return home very soon, and now they can't believe that he'll never come back. The choir's lead singer, Vadim Ananyev, was supposed to be on the plane, but changed his plans shortly before the trip. He told us his emotions on learning what had happened. My child was born, he's just a few months old. The eldest is ten and the middle one five. My wife just couldn't cope alone, so I asked my choir director for understanding and he agreed. As a result, I'm standing in front of you, but I was supposed to be on this flight. All my friends, including from abroad, are calling me in tears. We have a lot of foreign friends because we go on tours and we have fans. Everyone's calling me saying, thank God you're alive. I was woken up by a phone call and was told what had happened. I just can't believe what's happened. We need time to comprehend it. My wife is crying, my kids don't understand. Now I just want to go to church and pray for my friends.